Cougars Highlights brought to you by Commonwealth Financial. Hi, I'm Dan McLaren, President of Commonwealth Financial, and I'd like to thank you for taking interest in our organization. At Commonwealth, we have a principle that's key to everything we do, and that's teamwork. Whether it's planning your financial future or negotiating a great rate on your mortgage, let us put our team to work for you. Wednesday night at CN Center, the Swift Current Broncos in to play the Prince George Cougars. The Cougars ending a seven-game homestand on this night. They're 2-4 and four on the homestand going in. The last two games were the two wins over Everett. It did not start well for the Cougars. A Swift Current power play, it's Keegan Dancero scoring his 16th of the season. You'd hear a lot more from him later. The Cats do respond. Parker Stanfield follows up the shot from Brian Matt. That's his 13th of the season. And the Cougars are tied 1-1. After a controversial goal, put Swift Current up by a score of 2-1. to one. Justin Malin does all the work. Down the board, breaks around a defenseman, comes in in a cheeky little shot that gets past Travis Yonkman in the Swift Current net. We'll show you again as the defenseman tries to squeeze the shifty Malin, a 17-year-old center, against the boards. Malin kind of bounces off the boards, gets control of the puck, avoids the slash, and uh, gets the puck to the front of the net and beats the veteran goaltender. And Malin ties this game up at two apiece. Into the second period, it's three straight goals by Swift Current. First, Justin Dowling is going to score his 12th of the season, his first of two on the night. This is a power play goal, and the Swift Current Broncos have a 3-2 lead. And it keeps on coming. It's Keegan Dancer once again. He's going to score his second of the night. He would score four in this hockey game. This one will make it 4-2 for the Broncos. Joe Caligiri is the one who's victimized in goal for the Cougars on that goal. And it'll happen one more time as well. It's Matt Tassoni. Uh, going to put this puck behind Caligiri. It's 5-2 uh, for the Broncos. That's the end of the night for Caligiri. And Kevin Armstrong, who'd play a role later, uh, comes in to replace. The Cougars do get one back before the end of the second. Cameron Sepek, his sixth of the year, is a beauty. He beats uh, the defense. Uh, the blue line gets in close on Yonquin and beats him with a shot to the far side. We'll show it to you as a slowdown as in this goal that makes it 5-3. Sepek gets through to the defenseman and manages to get down a little bit lower past the checking and just before the grief really gets to him he puts the puck past the blocker side of Yonkman again 5-3 going to the third period. The Cougars do get it to 5-4. Brett Connolly he's going to beat Travis Yonkman from the side of the net that's the 15th of the season uh, for the fantastic 16 year old of the Prince George Cougars and then the Cougars get a break from the uh, referee on Dallas Jackson comes in and knifes the puck at the net and then the referee wants Yonquin to move it. He moves it and right onto the stick of Jackson who puts it into the net and the game is, is tied at five apiece. Uh, slow this one down so you can take another look as Jackson just dumps the puck on net from just outside the blue line and then kind of takes his time coming in to follow the playoff thinking the whistle is going to be blown. Not so much because Yonkman is told to move it, puts it on the stick of the veteran defenseman and the assistant captain puts it in behind it's a 5-5 score. The Broncos did get another one back, make it 6-5. It's Dancer, his fourth of the year. He pays the price by running the net over after being bumped by Cody Hobbs. But the Broncos have a 6-5 lead. Then Sepek once again gets into it. The overage defenseman fires a puck on net, then picks up his own rebound, taps it through the legs of Yonkman. We're going to get a really good look at this as we slow it down from the corner angle. As Sepek battling through uh, the two checks from the Swift Current Broncos and sees the puck sitting there loose and just swipes at it before anybody else can get there. And the Cougars have tied this game at six apiece. They're back in it. That's the trademark of these last three games since the coaching change has been comebacks by the Cougars in the third period. But the dagger gets the Cougars with 44 seconds left. Keegan Dancero coming down the wing. He's going to put the puck on net. Dowling tips it between the legs of Kevin Armstrong. It's a soft goal in the last minute of the game. The Broncos win 7-6. The Cougars now on the road to play three games in three nights. They'll play in Portland, Everett, and Vancouver on the weekend. And the Cougars also announcing the hiring of assistant coach Jeff Bata on Thursday. For the PrinceGeorgeCitizen.com, I'm Jim Swanson.